Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch Hello Good Game. Today, we're trying to play Magic the Gathering Arena, uh, waiting for the server. This popped up for me the other day, and it took a while to overcome. Uh, you know, looking over all of the online forms and searches that I could do, I could not find uh, the resolve for it. Luckily, we reached out to Wizards of the Coast and they were able to help us uh, troubleshoot the problem and fix it. So today, you guys are very lucky. Uh, you're getting yourself a tutorial walkthrough of how to fix the waiting for server bug or error in Magic the Gathering Arena. Get it out of the way and get you guys back playing the game that you love as quickly as possible. So I can load in the game, it initializes, it loads all the assets, Garrick's there, he's ready to go, right? But then as soon as it's done that, we go to this waiting for server. So we have a checklist of things that we're gonna go through. Uh, you know, we're gonna start the easiest thing to do and we're gonna work our way uh, through the more uh, difficult things and the more extreme things, uh, you know, the last of which is ending up formatting your entire PC. But if we can do anything to get around that, we're going to do our best. Uh, and again, yeah, we have nine steps to fix the waiting for server bug in Magic the Gathering Arena. So buckle in. I hope you're ready. Let's get right into it. If you find any value within this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, share it to a friend and leave a comment whether it helped you or not. Maybe if it doesn't, we can continue to help you troubleshoot. So. Getting right into it, the first step that you should try may seem self-evident, but reboot your PC. I don't know if you guys have watched the IT crowd, but have you tried turning it off and back on again? Uh, you know, this could clear up any errors that you may have. Uh, if you want to go above and beyond, turn your PC off, unplug it from the wall, press your power button for five seconds and maybe press it a few more times after. This is going to drain the excess uh, power from your circuit board or your motherboard. Plug it back in and you'll get a nice fresh reboot. This doesn't work like it did not for myself. We can try reinstalling the game client. It's easy enough. If you're on Windows, you just go to your search bar. You type in uh, remove program in the search bar here. Search Magic the Gathering Arena or MTG uh, Arena and then uninstall. That will remove everything. Then you can open up your web browser, go back to the website, download it, reinstall it. Hopefully that helped solve your problem. If it didn't, like it didn't for myself, we move on to the next step, which is flushing our DNS and resetting our windsock. So this may seem foreign to you, but don't worry, we're gonna walk you through it so you won't have any troubles. And you know, Wizards does a great job of telling us how to do this as well. All we need to do is go to our Windows symbol, right click. Uh, in my case, it will say PowerShell Admin. You may have the same or it will say command prompt admin, which is probably how you do it. PowerShell is just an upgraded version of that. So go ahead, open that up. You'll get something that looks similar to this. Again, mine will look a little bit different to yours. And then we just copy and paste these commands in. So first we flush our DNS, pop that in there, press enter. Second, we register our DNS, pop that in there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? Next we release, All right? It's catch and release. <laughs> uh, and again, we just push in these uh, commands one after the other. You don't really need to understand them. That's what's great about them having released, or released this uh, you know, step-by-step -step guide for us. And then we're renewing it. And then finally resetting our windsock. And again, maybe you guys are more educated uh, as to these things than myself. Uh, all I know is that this is a huge issue. I searched everywhere to try to solve the issue for myself. I couldn't find any help other than uh, this right here. So, you know, we did all that. We have to now restart our computer to complete the test. So go ahead, give yourself a nice, good reboot again, and then open up your client and hopefully it worked. Let's try it. Batter up, batter up, batter up, batter up. How's it gonna do? So typically you'll get this screen, Magic Gathering Arena, loading the database, you know, doing all of the assets, blah, 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 blah. Then it goes into the waiting for servers loop and that we cannot get through, uh, which is really weird. So, you know, you 
delete the game, you reinstall it, you have an internet connection, you are connecting to you know MTG Arena servers. So what's going on? We've gone through those steps. We're still having this issue. What in the world do we do? Well, we move on. Next up is to change uh, to a public DNS. And now because those things that we already tried didn't work, I did reach out to Wizards. I submitted a request ticket. They got back to me in probably six hours or less, which I found very refreshing. Uh, you know, I just outlined my problem. I told them the steps that I had already taken. And uh, again, they got straight back to me. Thanks for contacting Wizards of the Coast. I'm sorry to hear you're having issues. Looking uh, at the info that you sent us this far, I recommend trying the following issues to try to resolve your problem. So if you guys are having this problem, these are our next steps. Try changing your DNS uh, to public with these steps. Go to control panel, network and internet, network and sharing center, change adapter settings, click on the adapter that you're using, properties, networking tab, select the internet protocol version, properties, select the DNS servers, and then change them uh, to these two right here. Restart your computer and see if there was any difference. So if this confuses you, I'm gonna go through it right here with you guys. So we hit the search bar, easy peasy, control panel, enter. And then we see network and internet. That was our second step. We can even pull it beside so we can see the steps as we're working. Network and sharing center, uh, absolutely. And then change adapter settings. That's right here on the left. Then we have this open and then it says to right click the adapter that you're using, click properties. So I'm using uh, th this connected ethernet right here. Boom, boom, boom. Here's our properties. Click on the networking tab, which we're already on. And then select internet protocol version four, TCP uh, IP four. Ba, 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 ba. That's right here. Then we click properties right here. And then we get a list uh, of this general. The IP address, the one here is the DNS. I've already done this. You'll have zeros here. So the first one, the preferred DNS server, 8888. The alternate DNS server, 8844. There's no apply. All you do is press the OK button, press the close button, and you can exit your other screens. Restart your computer. That will take effect. We can pretend we did so, and we're right back to the screen. It didn't work for you. Maybe just like it didn't work for me, but who knows? Maybe it did. So we'll jump back into our steps. What's next? So uh, things that we do need to know, I guess, before we move on, that this can cause problems on some corporate networks. You may need to do undo the changes uh, to regain access to other sites if it's preventing anything. So it's easy enough. You just go change those eights back to zeros. Uh, no harm, no foul, right? And then the next step is if you've made any customizations related to the Magic the Gathering Arena, uh, System32 drivers, hosts, remove them. I can't imagine what modifications you've made, but uh, you know, it's a crazy world out there. Um, this step was taken care of in the reinstallation of Magic the Gathering Arena when you did the fresh install. But again, if you are into that, you're already going to know that you've done stuff there and you're like, oh yes, I was changing stuff in that folder. So, you know, it could be as simple as deleting it uh, and making sure that none of those folders are there and then doing the reinstall again. Next up, we're into port forwarding, which is just a bunch of fun. You know, these are your ports. I'm not going to get into port forwarding. I can link you guys to a video that will show you how to forward your ports. It's going to be different on, you know, obviously if you're on a Mac or a Windows, and then depending on your specific router, it's all going to be different there. So you can just Google how to forward ports on whatever internet you're on, right? And then it's going to walk you through that. If that doesn't work, we're on to trying a VPN. And now, believe it or not, I don't know if it was just this or this in conjunction with the other steps, which I went through and tried them all, but it worked. A simple VPN solved my issue. I had spent a full day problem solving, going through all of these steps, like researching, talking to people, compiling it all together, uh, trying it, reinstalling everything, uh, I even formatted my PC. I couldn't get anything to work. Um, and then again, this morning, I went through these steps and the VPN actually did work, which was really, really cool. Uh, finally, if 
none of that works, you can always try to just update uh, your network uh, drivers. So this shouldn't be a problem because um, most of you can only not connect to the game. You have your connection to the rest of the internet, right? You can re-download, reinstall, um, and all that jazz, right? So it's not necessarily uh, your connection or your drivers, but to try everything, right? Don't leave any stone unturned, as they say it. So just go to your device manager, network adapters, right-click the adapter you're using, update driver software. So this is easy enough. Search bar, device manager. Throw this over here. And then it's network adapters. See if I can find it right here. There it is. And then we're going to find the specific network adapter that we're using. We had the uh, killer port or whatever it was called right here, that Ethernet. Right-click, update driver, search automatically. It'll do its thing. That's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Of course, after it's done that, you'll need to reboot your computer again and then try uh, your Magic the Gathering Arena client. Hopefully, that worked for you. If you need a VPN, you guys, uh, personally, I know this would be a great interjection for an ad. I don't have one yet. Maybe I should get hooked up with one, right? <laughs> we'll see how well the video does, but I'm personally using pure VPN. Um, it worked. I'm sure any VPN works. Just go to a US-based uh, server or uh, whatever, right? And that should solve your issue. So with that all done, let's see if we can get into the game now by uh, implementing those fixes. So after all of this, we've worked through the nine steps, everything from rebooting our PC, to reformatting the PC. We have got the game reinstalled. The VPN is up and running. Ports are forwarded. DNS is public, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We load in, hallelujah, back into the game that we've been waiting so long to play. So I really, really, really hope that this video helped you not only problem solve, uh, troubleshoot your issue, and get you back playing Magic the Gathering Arena. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to not only myself, but my team within the Discord uh, via the link tree link description below. Have fun playing Magic the Gathering Arena. I'm live on YouTube every morning at 6 a.m. Mountain Standard. At 7 a.m. we switch to Twitch, and then we're back on YouTube at 6 p.m in the evening again uh, for some more Magic the Gathering Arena content in the Discord all day long. Last month we gave 120,000 gems away. We still have 350,000 to give away. So don't miss out, subscribe to the channel, give it a like, share it out to a friend, and we will see you soon with another Magic the Gathering Arena video. Take care and enjoy those top decks.